King's Dominion Explained, Part 1 King's Dominion is a large theme park home to over 60 different rides, shows and attractions in Doswell, Virginia, USA. The park's name originates from that of its sister park, King's Island, and the nickname for the state of Virginia, Old Dominion. King's Dominion's existence was the product of success, namely, the success of its sister park, King's Island. The park started its life in 1975, after three years of construction. The founder, Family Leisure Centres, decided to expand its operation into a new region. Construction started in 1972, with King's Island as inspiration. As a result, the two parks share many similar themes, rides and activities. A year before the park officially opened, a preview event was held. During the event, two attractions were open, Lion Country Safari and Scooby-Doo Roller Coaster. During the safari, guests were able to drive their cars to an open area in which a variety of animals, including rhinos, hippos and lions, roamed. The following year, a monorail was added to the attraction, removing the need for guests to use their cars. King's Dominion opened to the public, offering 15 different attractions, including a small wooden roller coaster, several flat rides, and its staple, one-third replica of the Eiffel Tower. The tower sits at a height of 96 metres and features an observation deck. This provides fantastic views of the overall park, as well as the surrounding area. On a clear day, guests are able to see up to 29 kilometres in the distance. Two roller coasters that opened with the park can still be found today. Those are Woodstock Express and Rebel Yell. Woodstock Express, formerly Scooby-Doo, Scooby-Doo's Ghost Coaster and then just Ghost Coaster, is a children's wooden coaster that can be found within the Planet Snoopy section of the park. It measures 9.1 metres high and has a top speed of 35 kilometres per hour. Unlike Woodstock Express, Rebel Yell is a racing wooden roller coaster with two individual tracks. Similar to most racing coasters, each track is a parallel mirror image of the other. The coaster opened with the park in 1975 and consists of an out and back layout. The top of the lift hill measures 25.9 metres high, allowing for the trains to reach speeds of up to 90 km per hour. Two years later, King Cobra, a Schwarzkopf shuttle loop, was introduced to the park. The coaster launched riders at 85 km per hour into a single vertical loop before climbing a 42 metre tall hill. The trains then reversed in motion and completed the course backwards. The ride was located at the park for only nine years before being relocated to Jolly Roger Amusement Park in Maryland. Currently, it resides at Hopi Hari in Brazil. Four years after the opening of the park, the well-known Lost World Mountain debuted. The mountain, now part of Volcano the Blast Coaster, has been home to many rides over its lifetime. It also underwent a re-theme in which it became Smurf Mountain for a short period of time. In 1982, King's Dominion opened their next still operating roller coaster, named Grizzly. Grizzly is the park's third wooden roller coaster and takes place within an existing forest. The layout of the ride makes use of the terrain, winding through the trees. The coaster remains the tallest and fastest wooden ride at the park, as it measures 27 metres high and reaches a top speed of 82 km per hour. The ride itself is famous for giving exhilarating night rides, as riders are unable to see the bottom of the first drop. The park continued to expand, releasing new rides and attractions. 1988 saw the release of Avalanche, which is currently America's only operating bobsled roller coaster constructed by Matt Rides. Like other bobsled coasters, the ride features a chute in which the train navigates. As riders fly through the turns of the ride, they move freely, sliding from one side to the other. The trains of the ride have been themed to Olympic bobsleds, as each car represents one of five countries. In 1991, Anaconda, King's Dominion's first roller coaster to consist of inversions, opened to the public. Anaconda is a steel roller coaster manufactured by Aerodynamics. The ride measures 39 metres high and features an even greater drop of 44 metres as riders plunge into a small underwater tunnel. A large portion of the layout takes place above water, as the ride is situated on the remains of Lake Charles. Lake Charles used to take up a large portion of the King's Dominion area, but is reduced in size due to the addition of the King's Dominion Water Park. In 1993, King's Dominion became part of the Paramount Parks, in which it gained the new title of Paramount's King's Dominion. A variety of changes were made to the park, including the closure of Lion Country Safari. However, several new attractions and areas themed to Paramount's television shows were added. A year after the rebrand, Hurler, the park's third large-scale wooden roller coaster, opened to the public. Two Hurler roller coasters currently exist, one at King's Dominion and the other at Carowinds. Both rides feature the exact same layout, statistics and manufacturer. As of 2016, Hurler is currently undergoing maintenance and is said to reopen again in 2017. Two years after its debut, King's Dominion opened Flight of Fear, previously named The Outer Limits. Outer Limits was a reference to the TV show to which the ride was initially themed. Similar to Hurler, two identical models of the ride have been constructed at two parks, King's Dominion and King's Island. Flight of Fear is a steel-launched enclosed roller coaster, which was the first in the world to feature an LIM launch. At the time, both rides won awards for the groundbreaking launch technology. The coasters were constructed by Premier Rides and had the fastest acceleration of any roller coaster in the world upon opening day. After the success of the launch ride, King's Dominion opened their second children's coaster. The Great Pumpkin Coaster, formerly Taxi Jam, is a small still sit-down roller coaster that opened in 1997. 
At 2.4 metres high, the ride is a great addition for those too young to experience some of the larger attractions. A year later, Kings Dominion revitalised the former Lost World attraction. A second LIM launch coaster was constructed in and around the old mountain. The ride, named Volcano the Blast Coaster, is a suspended catapult coaster manufactured by Intamin. It features two LIM launch systems which accelerate the trains to a maximum speed of 110 km per hour. Volcano is the only roller coaster to feature a rollout inversion, which at one point in time was the highest inversion on any roller coaster in the world. The ride still remains the only full circuit inverted launch coaster constructed by Intamin. To watch the second part of this series, click the box on screen. If you're on a mobile device, all of the links can be found in the description. This series was made possible with the help of Taylor from Coaster Studios. He helped with the script and provided all of the videos that you've seen today. To find more roller coaster videos, as well as theme park walkthroughs, visit and subscribe to his channel, Coaster Studios.